Hey guys, check this out. Look what I got over here. These guys are going to start their migration pretty soon. That's when all the, the males come out and they look for uh, mates before the end of the year. This usually uh, comes around in October. This is like the third one I've seen. I decided to stop on this one. Guys, look, he knows my hand's a different surface. Uh, these guys don't have the best eyesight. He's a good one. Anyway, he's gonna be, he's gonna be off the road really quick. There's no danger, so, with any other cars, so. Anyway, we'll keep moving, see what else we find. Hey everybody, got my first snake. Uh, let's see what he is. I, he's pretty long and skinny, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like a glossy or a gopher. And that is a nice little glossy. Oh, he's a good one. He's about two feet long. Nice markings. And there he goes. He's not really bothered by me too much. He knows I'm here. Anyway, these guys are really nice. Let's just get him off the road. About these glossy snakes are so cool. Uh, they got a really, really white underbelly. Their belly is so white underneath. It gives this little bit of an iridescent shine to it of these rainbow colors, but I don't think it'll come out very well on film. But look how nice he is. He's so shiny white underneath. Very cool snakes. Very gentle. He wants to get away from me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. Very cool glossy snake. There you go, buddy. Let him go. Cool, man. Let's see what else we could find out there. I got another one. This looks like a rattlesnake here. Uh, he's a juvenile. And uh, yeah, that's a Mojave rattler. Oh, he is cool. He's a nice little juvenile. He is about, he's about 18 inches long. Oh, he's nice. Look at his pattern. See how he has these individual circles all the way up. And they come up to his neck and they kind of mesh together. What an awesome pattern. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I've definitely caught his attention. Now, usually these guys have some really good green or brown colors and he's gray. He is a gray and white. That is so cool. I bet when he gets a little bit older, he'll he'll start to turn his uh, true colors of uh, probably shades of green. Let's get him off the road. Snakes are still out, so uh, let's see what if I can find another one. Hey guys, one. check this out. I got another one. Crazy. What is that thing? Oh, it's a night snake. It's a night snake. Off. This is cool. This is a night snake. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Um, he's a little, these guys are a smaller species of snake. I haven't seen a night snake in a long time. Look at that thing. And this is what he does. They do these little defense things. He's going to curl up in a giant uh, little um, coil. This is his huge, this is what these guys do for defense. He'll, he'll wind up all the way to this little tiny high ball, like a little cinnamon roll. Check him out. He's doing his best way to hide. Wow. Nice. This is a little tiny night snake. And they have these big copper eyes. He's probably not going to hold still long enough. But check him out. He is very light colored. Usually these snakes are a little bit darker than this. But they always have this little black mask and this little black neck. But look at his eyes. I don't. I hope this comes out well on video. But they have these really cool bulging copper colored eyes. But they are tiny. This is a smaller one. They get a lot bigger than this. They will get easily double this size. But he's a little one. These night snakes do look similar to the glossy snake. Except the glossy snakes will have these short little dashes on their back. While this guy has like polka dots. And this guy is also mildly venomous. Uh, he has rear fangs. 
and uh, since he's a little bit smaller than the glossies, they also hunt lizards, and they probably need that little extra help with those rear fangs to subdue the lizard with the venom also. The venom is uh, not harmful to humans, so. Anyway, there he is. I'm gonna let him go and get him off the street. Hey, you guys, I got another one. Looks like my fourth one of the night. I was just on my way out. Ooh, that's a good adult-sized sidewinder, too. That is a full adult. He's thick. Nice rattle on him. Nice little pattern. And look at the horns on this guy. Look at those horns, so cool. This guy's staying very still. Wow, he's a little bit uh, pinky color. He's staying very still, hoping I don't see him. It's a nice, this is a very nice size sidewinder actually. Look at my foot. I love the way these guys crawl, so let's see him crawl for a little bit. He's, really, he's probably a little cold. Anyway, let's just get him off the road. He's going this way, so I'm gonna keep him going that way. He is quick, that's a quick one. They are so awesome the way they go. The way they go. Whoa. You can barely hear, hear his rattle. Okay, here comes the hill. Let's get him up the hill. Wow, he's really cool. He's really kind of peachy looking. And he's almost there. Got to get him over the dune. And there he goes. Ah, another one. Cool. Anyway, I'm on my way out of here. Maybe I'll see another one on my way out. Got a fifth snake. And uh, this one is a sidewinder also. And uh, oh, he's also a large adult too. Wow. This one's just a tad smaller than the other one. Look at how cool he is. He's a little darker than the last one, I think. The last one had peachy color. This has like a beige color. Got a nice thick body, nice little pointy rattle too. Well, I'm having a really good night. It's kind of chilly out, but it's still good. Lots of snakes tonight. He's also trying to stay very still, but uh, we're gonna get him off the road too. So let's, uh, let's see, he's pointed that way. So we're gonna get him going this way. Going this way, so we're gonna continue having him go this way. Way up here. Oh yeah, get him right over here. Right, give him some cover. See how calm he was? Didn't even rattle at me, unbelievable. Nice and calm. Probably because it's just a little chilly out here still. So, he's getting cold, so he's uh, a little hard to be active. Uh, if it was 85 degrees out, like midsummer, I'm sure he would rattle and he would have ran. Probably struck at me a few times. But anyway, very cool to see him out.